Hey guys, this is part 4 of my Osaka card hunt and if you haven't checked out the other parts, they will all be linked in the description box below. Alright, and now we will go to the second full comp of today, directly to my right. Let's -a go! Uh, yeah, full comp, actually a bust, uh, only players here playing as I've seen and only playable cards, so nothing really for collectors. If you're a player, maybe a cool store, but for me as a collector, yeah, nothing really I can check out here. Guys, do you remember the place in Akihabara where I showed you the, the card shop which only had like these vending machines? There's actually one here in Osaka as well, right here. Horeka Jihanki, let's see how it looks there. So only vending machines in here. Crazy, okay. So this seems to be a new marketing model, a business model here. We actually have found some Yu-Gi-Oh here as well. Yeah, but it's basically a small corner here on the street and there's only vending machines. Crazy. Only in Japan, I guess. Yeah, okay. Let's check out Dragon Star next, guys. A place in Akihabara, usually they are like mainly focused on playing and do not have the best yeah, price or do not have the best value. But we will see how the situation is in Osaka. So this Dragon Stars guys, actually this might be the best place I've seen so far for Yu-Gi-Oh! It's actually crazy. Um, I'm on the second floor right now and on the lower floor, yeah, they had no Yu-Gi-Oh! at all. They only had like Pokemon and a lot of other card games. So I was already a little skeptical, but actually the second floor delivered like crazy. So much cool stuff and I will tell you a little bit more yeah. once I'm outside. So guys, like I told you, actually this was the best place so far we had in Osaka. So huge recommendation from me for this Dragon Star here because they had also playable cards of course because it is Dragon Star. But it was the first place which was like really really stacked with also collectible stuff. Did you see that Ultimate Rare Blue Eyes structure deck or special deck? I don't know what it is called exactly. 
but damn also so many sealed packs so many high-end cards so this is the first place where i actually got the akihabara vibes so yeah this is the best place so far so i'm giving nine out of ten uh, nine out of ten bilingual points for this place maybe i will bump it to ten we will see if there's any other places we'll see today but so far this is without any doubt the best place i've seen so far all right guys and like i told you we are now going to hobby station and again you don't even have to walk it is directly over there guys guys check this out there's also the next full comp directly over there so yeah we have a lot of work to do let's go to hobby station first and then to full comp Okay guys, this hobby station, not too crazy, pretty average place, so yeah, maybe 7 out of 10, maybe a little less, maybe a 6 out of 10, nothing crazy, so let's continue with the next place. So what is left guys, I already see another place called Card Box here, so we'll check these out, the next, and on the opposite side we have Full Comp, yeah, so much to do here in Osaka, crazy. All right, first up, card box. Looks like a one piece place here, like for sure. Maybe this is only one piece. We'll see. Alright guys, so card box actually wasn't just the one piece place, they also had a lot of other card games and I really liked how they solved like uh, the sorting with all these small labels on top of the showcases but nothing too crazy very average place let's give them let's give the average places a 5 out of 10 even though I said 7 out of 10 earlier because yeah like I said they are average places so they should be around the halfway there half point there mark all right now um, it's time for full comp it's directly opposite of here so let's see what they have All right guys, this was full comp and as you've seen, no footage at all. So nothing really here what we wouldn't have seen already in other places. So there's two more places I want to check out today, which is Card Shop Spiral and then at least, and then at the end we are going to check out B Hompo. They actually have a card shop called Battle Tower. So I'm a little excited for that. That will be the grand finale of today's video. So now we are going to Card Shop Spiral. Right, um, I actually passed here once and didn't find it, but actually this is a, a card place and you will only know if you can read Japanese card shop spiral. So yeah, let's check them out. All right guys, it's getting a little late now. We have seen a lot of places already. Um, I'm also thinking about wrapping up this video. There's just two more places. There's actually one more card labo where I'm heading right now. So we will go to the, to the last card labo for today. And then at the end of the video, we are going to, to be Hompo to the so-called battle tower. I'm, I'm still kind of excited what to expect. But yeah, let's go to card labo right now.
So this was Kart Labo guys. Honestly, I don't know why everything was literally sold out. Pretty crazy. I mean, there were a lot of players playing the game. Um, really nice to see. I also liked the place. It was a pretty big place. Had a lot of different cards, but uh, literally most of the stuff, like it felt like 80% was sold out. So something is going wrong for them at least. But um, I'm very relieved that actually, let's wait for this car. I'm very relieved that we actually don't see like any shortage of Yu-Gi-Oh like we have seen in Akihabara. So Yu-Gi-Oh seems like it's doing okay here in Osaka at least. And yeah, we are now going to our final destination to Bihompo. Let's go guys. <laughs> 